Good morning guys, getting straight to the point this morning. We are offshore in the dark, trying to get on some fish. I'm not even gonna say the name of the fish that we're after because it seems like every time I say it, we don't end up catching it. But we're after something big and it's a bucket list fish of mine for a while now. Hopefully we can scratch it off our list today. Uh, I'm not wasting any time. I'm about to start trolling here in a minute because I'm already marking fish in about 30 feet of water. So let's get to it. There's a dude to my left and a dude to my right that both have a fish on right now and I'm in the middle with nothing. <laughs> like I'm about to reel up my stuff and check and make sure I'm not doing something stupid or one's tangled because how does that happen? Oh, there we go. That feels like a bonita. It's a bonita. It's good. It is oh, did you just come off? Nice dog. Oh. Get a bonita. He's fighting weird. I don't know, this may not, I don't know, this may not be the need. I'm not sure what this is. It feels small though. Well, we're gonna find out. Caught up in my other line. I don't know, this might actually be a black fin. I'm hoping it's a black fin. Oh. Alright, it's almost at the surface. Haven't seen it yet. I'm still thinking it's a bonita. It's just a big, fat bonita. Nope, it's a tuna. It's a tuna. It's a tuna. It's a tuna, guys. We have ourselves a black fin. Uh, okay, okay. I need to do this very carefully. This is the fish we wanted, guys. Nope, oh, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. He's gaffed, he's gaffed. He's gaffed. He's gaffed. He's gaffed. Yes! Yes! Yes, go! Oh, finally! This thing is huge! What? What? That was such an easy fight, too. I thought it was a fucking bonita the whole time. No, no, you're going nowhere, bud. You aren't going anywhere. Oh my gosh. We did it. Yes. Yes. Trying to pick him up for you guys. Oh my gosh. This is such a big fish. What? That was so like uneventful. Like I thought it was a bonita the whole time. But no, it was this chunky thing. I had just bought this Rapala yesterday. Oh my gosh. I'm in awe right now. Like I could go home right now. I'm good. Guys, I've been wanting this fish for so long now and I finally got one. 
<laughs> All right, I need to get him in the fish bag somehow now. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Look at this fish, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if we can get another one, but black fin is off the list. <laughs> Okay, well that's 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 kind of a problem. So uh, I don't want this fish to spoil, so I may not be out here as long as I anticipate it. I'm gonna troll for a little bit longer, but target species in the bag. I I, I can't I can't ask for more than that. <laughs> All right, guys. So I think I'm gonna turn around and head back to the beach and call it. So I'm lugging around another 20 pounds of weight and uh, I'm really not going as fast as I would like to and I have the wind in my face. And I would also like to get back before the wind picks up, the surf gets crazy and then the flipping, like I would hate to ruin a day like today because, you know, I end up flipping my kayak. So then I'm gonna turn around, just be thankful for the fish to have caught, go celebrate, maybe go back to bed. It's still early, it's only like seven o'clock in the morning right now and uh, just be happy, like I'm, I'm good. This is like the most zen, most relaxed feeling I've had in I don't know how long. Like it's just sheer bliss. So I'll see y'all back at the beach. All right guys, we're back at the truck. I just got some more ice for the tuna because I don't want it to go bad. But look at this fish. I want to give you one last look at it before I put it in its ice bag and I bring it home and chop them up, make some dinner. So crazy day, but really, this was like a Hail Mary because this was like the last day we could potentially catch a black fin because the temperatures are just gonna start warming up soon. So this was really the last weekend and thankfully I managed to hook up with one. I'm so, so thankful. Now let's talk about gear real quick because I know there's gonna be some questions. I call him on 8,000 size Dialus Saltist with a eight foot Tamar rod. I think this is a heavy action. Extra heavy, okay. But it also has an extra fast uh, tip so it's really, really sensitive. I have 50 pound braid and a 60 pound fluorocarbon leader tied on, and that is a Rapala X-Wrap in the sailfish color. Really surprised that actually worked. I picked it up yesterday on a whim. Uh, and this thing horsed him in, like y'all saw the footage. I thought it was a Bonita the whole time, and uh, I'm really glad he hit on this rod because it made that fight almost nothing. Like he, I pulled him in pretty quick and under, under 10 minutes for sure. So if y'all are interested in catching one of these for yourselves, uh, that's the gear you need, that's the setup you need, or something similar. You may not need an 8,000 size reel. No guys have fought them and caught them on like 4,000 and 5,000s. This is my tarpon rod, and I figured I'd use it since I have it, and uh, worked out great. So hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. More videos are coming soon. I'm also gonna be doing a review video for the Hobie Lynx after the six month mark for sure. That is coming very, very soon. I know that's something y'all been asking for, um, including like gear and how I have everything set up and things like that. So keep an eye out for that video. Other than that, I'll see y'all next time.